Hey there everybody, this is Sven Shinhan, welcoming you back to Let's Play Lufia 2. In the last episode, we had to say goodbye to a very dear party member who made a very valorous sacrifice in order to save all the rest of us. And let's just save over an old file before we go on with this one. And so, right now there's little we can do to avenge our fallen friend, but... As we say in the showbiz, the show must go on. Anyway, the ship's on sale now. And apparently you don't hear much more. Alright, I forgot, you have to talk to this guy. Huh, the Traveling Warriors. Do you need a ship? Yes, we need a ship. We're interested. Follow me. It's not like we have a choice. Hi, I brought you a customer. Where did Lexus go? It must be at the lab. So, yes, um, I'm interested. This is a new one. Why did the owner want to sell such a new ship? The owner Lexus Shea, I wanted someone blah blah blah. He's always inventing strange things. He always needs money. So, apparently he sounds untrustworthy, and we're gonna meet him. He's in a cave north of here. In any case, talk to him directly. Yeah, there's no need to go through that cutscene. I mean, you learn little. Anyway, um, right to the north of town is a lab. Unless I get lost. Damn dogs. Ah, no, nah, they're faster. Come on. So, this is the laboratory, and um, the funny thing about this place is that there are traps. Welcome to Lexus Shea Laboratory. So if you go through this door, um, essentially, there's like, oh crap, you have trap doors. And then you have this little thing that brings you all the way back to the beginning. So there's various um, doors like that, and uh, well, some of it is trial and error, and some of it is just uh, random. I forgot what the right one is here. Um, usually the game gives you kind of a clue. Congratulations, the laboratory, uh, laboratory is through this door. Please come in. Yeah, right. Don't you believe it. The actual lab is right through here. So, there we have Lexus. Let's just go talk to him. Huh? You're strangers around here, aren't you? But how did you get here? Are you Lexus? Well, that's right. What about you folks? I'm Maxim. This is Guy and this is Seelan. Someone in Treadle told me that you're selling your ship. Oh, so you're interested in buying the ship. That's wonderful. Excuse me for asking, but why are you selling such a great ship? Well, it might be great, but it's not strong enough to hold this. What's this? This... that is an engine. And what's an engine? It makes oil and air in a cylinder to generate combustion. The engine does this at high speed. Right. If this runs without problems, the ship can move without wind, you see. Are you serious? Sounds pretty far-fetched to me. I guess proof's in order. Moment of the century, folks. You'll never forget what you witnessed today. Okay, here it goes. Ta-da! Look! The propeller's rotating without wind! Wow, that's amazing! Haha, <laughs> yes, isn't that great? It can, I can rotate it even faster. Haha, <laughs> what do you think? That has to hurt. I can cut someone's arm off. He's right, I'll never forget this. I'm going, Maxim. Let's ask Jaya to make our ship. Yeah, that might be better. Wait a minute, you mean Jaya's building ships again? Yes, but what does that have to do with you? He said he wasn't going to build any more ships until he, get the fan until he got the Phantom Tree. Oh, that, we found the tree for him. Is that true? He finally got it? Do you know Jayad? He's the best shipmaker there is, and the only one who can make a ship for my engine. But why do you need a ship? You don't seem like sailors to me. There's an enemy we must defeat, and we need a ship. Is that by any chance the one who destroyed Gordovan and tried to sink Parcelite? How do you know about that? My chemograph, my chemograph moved. Chemograph? We all radiate energy. When our emotions change in pain or anger, our energy flows differently. The chemograph catches those energy waves. It twice recorded enormous inhuman movements. And those waves were recorded at the incidents in Gordovan and Parcelite, right? I checked it, and yes, they matched the time of those incidents. Where's that chemograph anyway? That's right, you're disciplined warriors. You might have strong energy. Give it a try? Sure, why not? We want to know how strong we are. This is it. So, what shall we do? Just concentrate. Alright, I'll give it a try. He's like thinking really hard, crunching his brain. Oh my goodness, what a number! That much? It's five times more than the largest reading I've ever seen! 
Well, my power is extraordinary, you see. Looks interesting. Let me try. What? Wh what's going on? How was I? Eight! Eight times more! Alright! Mine is even stronger than Guy's! I don't get it. Is that machine working okay? Why don't you try, Maxim? Okay. The, the needle went off the scale! Immeasurable! That's great, Maxim! That machine must be broken. Who are you guys, anyway? Just a bunch of crazies trying to pick a fight with four Sinistrals who would destroy the world. Trying to pick a fight with Sinistrals? That is crazy! I told you, didn't I? Hey, guy, would you take back that bunch stuff? Sounds like I'm crazy, too. What? You're saying only Maxim and I are crazy and you're sane? No! Maxim isn't crazy, either! Hey, cut it out! Okay, okay. I just got a little carried away, that's all. Well, Lexus, we should be going now. Wait, would you take me with you? You? But why? You've caught my interest. I've never known anyone who dare pick a fight with Sinistrals. Most folks would think it's you, I suppose. It's a very dangerous journey. I can't promise that you'll return alive. Just to go with you is life enough for me. But, don't worry, I can use swords and spells. I can be of help to you. Hmm, you and spells, interesting combination. Also, I will install my engine. If you have the engine in your ship, you can go anywhere. That engine? You must be joking, I don't wanna, I don't want our ship to explode in the middle of the sea. Don't worry, improve it a little bit and it'll be safe as any regular ship. Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm a genius, you know, and I'm, and I'm saying it will be safe, so that's that. What do you think, Maxim? Well, if the engine really works, it would be very useful. Exactly. Well, it's all settled. I'll make an engine, so please come when you get the ship. Well, guess we don't have much of a choice. Are you sure about this, Maxim? Lex is a talent that we lack. We may need him in the future. I hope he won't be in our way. Let's just go ahead and go to LA and talk to Jayad. Alright, well, they make it simple. Of course, on the way back, there's no reason to walk out there all the all the way back again. So you can just follow on, follow on this trap and let the panel take you all the way back. Just kick back and relax. I have to apologize in advance, I think, because this episode is probably going to be uh, another one of those long ones because um, this is kind of the pre prequel to the next part that we're going to. And then there's the actual dungeon that we have to do. And then after the dungeon is another cutscene, so uh, this whole affair may take a while. Anyway, um, Jai is probably inside his house, or by the docks, now he's inside his house. Alright. Oh, it's you guys! What do you want? We'd like you to make a ship. Why do you need a new ship? It's cheaper to buy it one ready-made. Uh, the ship must be made of the Phantom Tree. A regular ship can't hold the engine. The engine? You mean Lexus's engine? That's right. Do you know about it? Yes! Lexus is a genius! I see the engine's finally ready, huh? Now we can make a power ship. Okay, I'll do the ship, but I have to design it from scratch because of the engine. It'll take time. Hey, where are you staying right now? In Treadle. Treadle, hmm. So I have to go through the Watergate in Aurelio, huh? Is there a problem? No, not really. Alright, wait for me in Treadle. I'll bring the ship as soon as, as soon as I finish. I'll do my best, but I don't know how long it'll take. Just be patient and I'll see you in Treadle. I'll go ahead and get on with the ship. Everything are really smoothly, huh? So what should we do now, Maxim? I guess we have to get uh, go back to Treadle and wait for the ship to arrive. Yeah, they have to do a bit of traveling around here. Alright, so what you want to do now is... Well, the game already told you, you just want to go back to Treadle. There's really nowhere else you can go. And then when you go to Treadle, you run into this lovely lady here. There's, there's basically nothing else that you can do except for talk to her. F flowers? Would you like some... Flowers? What lovely flowers! Can I have one? The, the, thank you. That'll be one gold, p please. Are you alright? You look pale. Yes, I'm... I'm... F fine. And she collapses. Watch out! Are you okay? Oh no, sis! Hang on, Leafa, hang on! Well, let's take her someplace she can lie down. Our place is right over there. Follow me.
This is it. Bring her inside. Sounds like she's dying from the music. Sis. She's okay. She's just sleeping. What's wrong with her? She's just exhausted. She'll be okay. She'll be okay if she rests for a couple of days. She's always working alone, and if we could work, she wouldn't be so exhausted like this. Ah, uh, mm. Leafa. Oh, you guys. Huh? Why am I here in bed? You fainted. You're the one who bought flowers for me. Did you bring me back here? Thank you. Don't mention it, but you should really look after yourself better, you know. I know, but... No, Leafa, you have to stay in bed for a while. Thanks, I'm alright now. I have to get some flowers for tomorrow. Besides, I saw a beautiful flower on the mountain. I've never seen such a beauty in all my life. If I can get my hands on it, I'm sure it'll be a big seller. Leafa! <sighs> flower... We've got to do something, otherwise she'll go push herself to go find the flower. Ceiling, cast Drowsy on her. Drowsy? Oh yes, we could do that, couldn't we? Drowsy! I think this is one of the only times we actually see the spell effect outside of battles. What did you do to my sister? She'll be okay. Drowsy is a spell to put someone to sleep. When she's better, she'll wake up naturally. Really? Yes. Well, shall we go get some flowers now? Yep. It'll make a nice change from whacking monsters, that's for sure. We'll look for the flower your sister saw. You guys take good care of her, okay? We will. And where does your sister usually pick flowers? On the mountain south of here. There are many pl pretty flowers there. The mountain south of here, right? Okay, Maxim, let's go. I kind of forgot there's another instance where you see a spell effect outside of battles, but that's for another time. Okay, so basically there's uh, flowers to be picked, and we have to go get them. Although a guy said that it might be a nice change from whacking monsters, um, he couldn't be more wrong. Because right down here are lions, and probably they're gonna attack us before we get to run. Yes, as always, we're too slow, damn it. I hate monsters. Goddamn monsters. Awful, awful monsters. Okay, now you've asked for it, you're gonna die. No mercy for you. Ow! No mercy for me either, huh? Jesus Christ, I might actually almost die here. Okay, this ain't good. Well, let's just hope Blaze kills that one before it hits us. Thank you, Blaze. Damn it, I hate monsters. I wish I could kill him. Well, I guess that's exactly what we're doing, but whatever. So right here we are on the Flower Mountain, which has to be one of my most hated dungeons in the game. And it's also going to be part of the reason why this episode is going to be longer than others. Uh, because there's quite a few annoying puzzles in here, as well as annoying enemies, such as these, which are um, Lunar Bears. They have a lot of HP. And then you have some of the trolls that we're familiar with. And overall, they just get tougher and tougher. And it's just a pain in the ass. But I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't fun, so... I mean, I complain a lot, but that's just because I hate random battles. It's not because I don't find the game fun. Okay, crap. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut out a lot of these fights because this is really annoying. It's gonna take forever to take them down like this. Fireball launcher. Aw, oh, come on, Blaze! Your gut stat's still not high enough? Okay, the trolls are gone. And the lunar bear should be gone too. Well, they do give nice experience, I'll grant them that. Um, I'm probably gonna be skipping most of these. What do we get here? The pillars moved by hand can be moved by a hammer. This, let, this lets you move pillars far away. All right, yeah, this is another uh, item. The hammer, it can do some things that bombs can do, like uh, bust down doors. Um, it can also stun enemies, but it has a very short range. So, unless I specifically need this item, I prefer to actually just keep it on, uh, on the hook. But there's a couple of puzzles in this dungeon that we absolutely need this for. Um, so you can break these blocks with it. And now that I recall, there's a dungeon way earlier in the game that you can also use these on. I'll go look for that later, though. Right now, um, you can't use them on these, so... The game plays tricks on you. Oh, crap, I see those jumping platforms. So, yeah, when the game tells you that you can essentially move uh, switches with the hammer, that's basically what they mean. Uh, let's see, how does this one work? I'm pretty sure, let's see, what does this door do? Staircase. 
Okay. I think I already ruined this one. I just want to check what's up here real quick. Alright, I think I remember now. Not entirely sure, but... I believe there is a treasure here. No, there is not. Okay. Then I'm lost. Well, it wouldn't be the it wouldn't be the first time, so... Ah, come on! I didn't... Okay, sorry about this, guys. I defeated that stupid monster on the other side, and then something glitched in the recording. Uh, nothing major. Uh, let's just continue on here. Alright, so over here you have a couple of places where you can go. Of course, you need the key for one, so that's not a place you can go. And over here, I don't remember exactly um, what this place is, but I think it's just treasure. Um, essentially, I believe you just have to... Walk to the teleporter. Oh right, you have to, you have to, you have to get all three. Right, I forgot. So essentially, if you block yourself from getting one of them, then the game will be very cross with you, and you won't like that. So this is one way you can go, and of course, now I've already ruined it again. Yes, I'm such an idiot. Some careful planning is required in order to do this one. So essentially, you likely want to... Well, you can get this one like that, that's no problem. Now when you go get the top one, uh, you want to make sure that you leave a pathway open to reach this one. And you can step on this, so... And now that we have that one down, finally you can get this one, and that should solve it. So there's two places where you can go. Inside here, a couple of treasures, a dragon egg, very precious, I think that's number five, a power ring, I think we already have one of those, and a flying axe, which is a nice weapon for Guy to have, um, if he hadn't already had the Gaty's Blade. Um, severely damages flying enemies. Um, it may actually be worthwhile using this pretty soon, um, because there's a couple of enemies that are weak to that. Now, the power ring, I'm not sure. I think uh, it doesn't do anything spectacular. Uh, what does it do? Increases your attack power. It has the trick IP, which we already have the spell for. Uh, yeah, it pretty much... Oh, well, it's an upgrade for the muscle ring for Maxim. We'll definitely go with that. That's a no-brainer. And over here, we have something else that's really cool. A staircase. Like, we've never seen those before. Uh, crap, I think I already went the wrong way because we're supposed to have the key for the next bit. Oh wait, here's the capsule monster. Radisher! His actual name is Sully. As we'll see right here. This is the Earth capsule monster. It's, I think, the slowest capsule monster in the game. Um, but it's also the capsule monster that has the highest raw attack power, the highest HP, and the highest defense. And it'll never run from any battle, so... It's, uh, it's quite a nice capsule monster to have. It's quite powerful. Uh, and it, it's kind of cool. Its final form is really cool, I'd say. But right now, we're going to keep using Blaze. Uh, until I have the money to get all of our capsule monsters up to a respectable level. Which won't be for a while. But when I do, um, I'll be sure to... Uh, show you guys all of the available capsule monsters in their fourth and final forms as I evolve them. In fact, I may just make a compilation video out of that when I get there. Oh crap, I went the wrong way again. So part of the reason why this video might be long is because I'm an idiot, and the other one is because this dungeon is just long. Oh man, that battle was painful! There was like two necromancers, and they kept summoning new enemies and more and more enemies, and all of a sudden uh, some of them started using instant death attacks, which I managed to narrowly avoid. I was never so close to complete and total defeat. Well, that's not entirely true, but... I was never so close to total defeat and... scared of what might happen next. Anyway, uh, there's not much over here except for... Uh, some doors with uh, treasures. Um, basically, you just have to follow the labyrinth uh, in order to get to the treasure. Uh, requiring you to do some detours. Life potion, which is always nice to have. I still haven't used any of the ones that I have, although I believe I only have two right now. And in the next bit, you can go all the way over here to open that door. 
And finally, uh, there's... No, not this way. Well, I was sure there was... A... Oh, yeah, you have to enter from the other side, right. The, Lu the puzzles in Lufia 2 get kind of complicated, I suppose. Well, not complicated, just more annoying than they were before. Uh, this allows you to go right over... No, it does... damn it, I'm lost again, aren't I? Ah, uh, this is the one. Right, thank you very much. Uh, gives you a snake rock, which, uh... I have, I have no idea what this does. What the hell does this thing do? Like, gut and strength. Well, I suppose that Maxim can make use of that. Let's see, do we have anything that's a vast, huge upgrade? Not quite yet. We'll just keep the Catfish Jewel for a little bit longer, although the Lion Fang is tempting. Um, I'll think about it. Right now, it's not really worth it yet, but it might. it will be soon. Very soon. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, uh, if you go this path down here, it'll take you to the staircase, finally allowing you to continue. I think there's this bit outside where you can... Ah, crap, this is... you can't go here. Damn it. All right, I remember now. There's a place in the next room where you can fall down, and essentially that's gonna let you... You can, uh, you can... I, I don't know what's down here. All right, yeah. That's the way to crap. That was another really long battle. But we get a reward for this in the Burn Sword, which I really, really like. Now, this we're gonna give to Maxim. Unless Seelan can all, also wear it. Um, well, it's a dramatic increase in attack power for both. So in that case, uh, we'll let Maxim have it. I suppose this one... Well, we'll get more weapons for Seelan later. The Cold Rapier isn't even a terrible weapon to have. If you want to, you can grind here on all those monsters, but I'm generally too lazy for that. So now we have the Flower Key, finally, damn it. And I should stop complaining this much. My complaining shouldn't get in the way of the fun of the video game. I mean, I do love this game. I've played this game for years on, years on end, and... Like, it's, it's, it'll always be one of my favorite games. I mean, I love almost everything about it. I mean, there's it has a really good story, but it doesn't take forever to go through the story. I suppose you could say that it takes a little bit of time for the story to get started, but it's not bad. Especially not compared to other RPGs. I mean, there's plenty of games that take way longer to get started. Like, even Golden Sun, for instance, on the GBA. They're really cool games, but they do take ages before the story finally gets interesting. And this one does it really well. I think that's already it. There's pretty much nothing more that we have to do. We basically just go down one level and that's it. Yeah, just a gauntlet, monster infested gauntlet that we can easily avoid. Yeah, no problem. All right, so here we are at the, well, I would say we're at the boss, but we're not. It's that there's these necromancers that we're just gonna ignore. And there's no need to save because this boss is... It's piss weak. Let's be honest here. So, one may think that this is a flower, but no. It's a boss that starts immediately as you walk up to it. It's a rogue flower ride. So, for Maxim, we'll use the Firestorm on it. And Seelan will first use Trick to boost all of our attack power. Of course, this is another reason why Blaze is a really good capsule monster. So, after boosting our attack nicely... Maxim uses Firestorm for a whopping 500 damage. And Guy for a not so whopping 200, but Sneeze Spreader, does it even do anything? It sounds really cool, though. I'm not gonna be wasting any of my energy on the Octo Strike. I mean, it's not worth it. Instead, we're just gonna go through with attacking and, uh, you know, whenever the chance, chance arises when we can heal. Ah, well, what am I even talking about? This boss is easy. Nothing to it. Wow, he does 400 damage without the IP? Damn. Why did he even use it? Of course, now, Blaze is probably gonna r run away this turn because he's such a pussy. Uh, let's see, I can. I guess we can finish it off with a fireball. Yeah, still running away. Gut stat's still not high enough. 
I promise he'll stop he'll stop doing that as much when he gets uh, to a higher level. And this should finish it off. What? Oh, come on. Oh, crap. Yeah, just my luck. Well, Maxim will finish him off. I'll just heal just to be on his safe side. I guess the bosses have a little more HP than I give them credit for. What? It's still not dead after that? Whoa! That thing has a lot of attack power. It can actually still kill Guy. But there's no way that it's going to survive this round of attacks. Absolutely not. No way in hell. Hell is going to freeze over before that happens. Yeah, it's dead. 12,000 experience. Damn, that's pretty nice. Alright, and let's just quickly heal up. Not that we need it, it's just something I like to do. And we get the flower. Isn't this the flower leaf I was looking for? It's a giant flower, I thought. But it's so pretty, this has got to be the one. Alright, let's bring it back. It gets the pretty flower. And from here we walk. Uh, I mean, we escape. And then we warp. Because I don't want to run into more monsters, so we're going to Tree Duel. And to Leafa's place. And this should make her very, very happy. Leafa, wake up! Mm, I had a really good rest. Good morning! Here you are! Th this is the one- this flower is the one I saw! Good. So this was the right one. Please let me buy this flower. I'm not rich, but I will give you all I have. We brought this flower back to give you. Are you giving this to me? Yes! Will you accept it? Of course! But are you sure? If you plant this and make more, you can sell them at a good price. I don't know how to take care of flowers anyway. Besides, this one will be happier with you. Thank you so much! I'll take good care of it. If you grow a lot of them, would you give me one? Of course! By the way, what's this flower called? I don't think it has a name yet. I have an idea. Would you name it? Me? Well, let's see. How about Prithia? Prithia? That sounds really lovely. Yes, that's it. I'm glad you like it. Ceiling, we should be going. Alright, we've got to go now. I hope your Prithia, Prithia grow the, grows a thousandfold. Damn, stupid sounds. Tongue and knot. Sis, that's a really nice flower. Yes, I'll grow thousands of them and show everyone in the world how beautiful it is. Actually, uh, for those not in the know, that's a throwback to Lufia 1. Uh, when in the during the start of the game, uh, the main characters are actually uh, full of uh, in a field full of flowers. So anyway, um, I suppose we get the ship right now. But since we've been going on this long, I think it's probably a better idea to call it a day and save right here. So every thanks everybody for watching and. Um, I'll see you guys next time, and by then we'll have the ship, and we can finally move on to the next part of the game. So, take care, and I'll see you then.